Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a quick video today on these two tile saws that I've been using on some uh, tiling projects I've been doing. Uh, the one on the right hand side here, this is of course the cheaper and smaller one. And uh, that's the one I had initially when I did some renovations in the, my washroom. And this one, it worked well for me. I think I bought it kind of on sale from Canadian Tire. It's a Mastercraft a wet tile saw, four and a half inch uh, diameter blade. Um, I got mine on sale, I think pretty cheap a long time ago, maybe 60, 80 bucks, something like that Canadian. But now I see on the website they want 159.99. Um, so I'm sure you can pick these things up on Kijiji secondhand for maybe, you know, maybe even 30, 40 dollars, something like that. But uh, just to give you some of the specs on it, uh, it's got a four and a half inch diamond cutting blade and one inch cutting depth, three and a half amp induction motor and uh, table has three tilting positions, uh, adjustable rip fence, 45 degree miter gauge, plastic reservoir will not rust. And so my experience has been pretty positive with this one. I mean, um, you know, it's got, I'm just going to give you a close up here. Uh, so this, this part here kind of tilts off and it, you can just pull this right out. But see underneath there, you know, all the, um, you know, the, the powdered cuttings from all the tiles, it builds up in there and then eventually hardens and you're going to have to clean that out. Uh, this, you know, it goes up and down. And the main advantage I find with this one is if you have to cut something that's really long, you can just cut all the way through, um, so it doesn't really matter the length, you could just keep cutting. I don't know if that's recommended by the manufacturer or not, but um, but the problem, the, the difference with this one on the left is you're limited in terms of the length. You just can't cut something, you know, obviously of unlimited length. And so that's, that's mainly when, I, you know, I love using the one on the left much more, mainly because it's got this uh, guided blade here, so you're always cutting straight. But if I have to cut something super long, you know, I go with this one. And uh, so I think that covers this one. This is obviously more of a do-it-yourself type of a machine. And that's what they're claiming on their website here as well. And so let's just quickly zoom over to the other one now. I'll give you some of the specs on that. So this is where the big difference here, this one again, was only three and a half amps. But this one on the left is 10 amps. So big difference, and it's got the uh, seven-inch diameter blade on it. And but the, of course, the difference in price, whereas this one's like around 160 on the website Canadian Tire, this one here is going to set you back 399.99. Uh, mind you, you can get them on sale, of course, Canadian Tire. But um, I got this one on the left here on sale for eighty dollars Canadian on Kijiji. Uh, just from somebody who wasn't using it very much anymore and they wanted to get rid of it. So that's a pretty good price. I mean, usually you're going to... I did see one even cheaper than that, but you, usually you're going to have to be probably paying a little over a hundred second hand, but... Um, so it says this one is capable of cutting through ceramic, slate, terracotta, marble, and granite floor wall tiles. Of course, you've got the guide rail system. Uh, Slides the blade for accurate cuts. The blade tilts uh, 0 to 45 degrees for making inside or outside bevel cuts. And I'll just give you, you know, you can, you can see some adjustments on the side here and on the other side so you can make those um, beveled cuts and, uh, or tilted cuts. And it says there's a 60 degree right miter gauge for precise angled cuts. Um, has the water pump with the filter to keep the workplace and the blade clean and cool. And I have had a bit of a problem with the um, the water pump. So we've got the water pump down here, and we've got the hose coming up here with the water, and then it goes. I'll just show you here to the front of the blade, and it, the water just comes down here while you're cutting. And sometimes I've noticed when I start it up, it won't. The water is not coming through for some reason. And so I've had to kind of shake the hose around a bit, and then eventually the water starts coming out the front. Of course, whereas on this other one on the left, you've got the water right in down below here, 
and uh, the blade's always hitting the water when it when it spins around. Um, so that's a big difference between the two. And of course, there's a removable drain plug for fast and easy cleanup. It says it includes the uh, the diamond tip blade as well as some uh, blade wrench, socket wrench, miter gauge, work fence, clamp assembly, blade guard. Um, like once again, it's 120 volt, 10 amp, single speed, 5,000 RPM. Uh, maximum cutting length, of course, there is a maximum cutting length here of 18 and a half inches. And what else do I have for you? Um, maximum diagonal cutting length, 13 inches, and the weight is 36 pounds, 6 ounces, 16.5 kilograms. So I, I think that uh, you know covers most of the things I can tell you. Um, again, one of the you know, of course, if you use these types of things in the past, you'll know that um, that the water just gets all over the place. Um, so you, you probably might have to put some sort of a. Basically, I was using this uh, top, say this plastic top of a um, of a tote, a plastic tote, and I was sort of putting that over here on the side. And that way any water that came off the tiles would just kind of fall onto that plastic uh, coat. So it's an upside down tote. And then it would just, water would go on there and then I could easily clean it up afterwards and just pour it back in or what have you. Um, but yeah, with both of them, you know, you have to worry about the water getting all over the place. And um, I don't think I, there's much else I can tell you about these machines. But uh, of course, on this one, you've got this this thing. It, it will slide as well. This this thing will slide back and forth. And of course, you've got this to keep your fingers safe. And but other than that, I don't think there's too much else I can tell you about these. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please give me a thumbs up and like if you like the video. Really appreciate it. Uh, have a great day.